Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're still with the Accord. One of the biggest missed places is door jams. So getting in here, getting it cleaned out, you can use a pressure washer and you can get the majority of stuff out. But if you have anything caked in there, it's probably gonna be a little bit tougher to get out just because you have your seals that sit right in these areas as well, just like pressing down and keeping it super tight up against the paint. So one way that we can combat that is with degreasers or APCs, something on those lines. But one that we haven't tried yet is Titan 12 degreaser. I am super excited to try this out. Uh, you can use it on paint. It's great for engine bays as well, just to get some of the excess grease off in there. Um, but we've got this entire door jam that's pretty filthy. And then also on the side of the door over here, we'll get to after we get this cleaned up. But with this, you wanna make sure it's out of direct sunlight. The sun is setting as we speak right now, so hopefully it didn't get too dark uh, during this video, but uh, this should only take a little bit of time. But essentially what you do is you just spray it on there, you wipe it off. If it's on the interior, then you'll use a brush or a scrub pad or some, something on those lines in order to agitate the surface. And for both exterior and interior, do not let this dry. It says it on there multiple times, do not let dry, so don't let it dry. We'll go ahead and start this off. Try and uh, get out of the way as much as possible. We'll give it a shake. We will go ahead and flip our towel over. Yeah, so everything that you see left is just scratching. Um, there's a couple places where there's chip paint. So yeah, that did a excellent job with it not even having to sit on there for very long. Again, it's very high pH level, so it's just gonna eat away at, the, at that grime. And one of the things that it's really meant for is door jams where you constantly just have this caked up dirt. And I'll show you what I mean, and we're gonna see and really put this thing to the test on the side. All right, so in between all that, Siri started listening to me and she was, she, this is what she heard. I did an excellent job with a not even having to sit on there for very long. Again, it's a very high pH level, so it's not gonna, so it's just gonna eat away is that grime. And one of the things that it's really meant for his door jams where you constantly just have escaped of dirt. <laughs> And I'll show you what I mean. We're gonna see, really put the thing to the test on the side. And Siri responded with, aw shucks. Thanks Siri for really paying attention to me. <laughs> Anyways, just figured I'd share that with you because it was a uh, very strange deal. But anyways, all right in here. So this is like super caked on here. So we're gonna see if we can get it off with Titan. So we'll just come in here and spray it on. We'll let this sit on there just for, just for a minute and see, see what happens. So it's coming off relatively well down at the bottom. Some of these more caked on areas are not so I mean, you, you may be able to do like one or two applications of this and really just start, really just start seeing this, uh, this work itself in. So we'll come in here and spray it on there. We'll let it sit for about 15 seconds or so before we start wiping it just to see if it eats away at a little bit more. Again, this is my first time using this product. So like testing this, is crucial to me right now, so I definitely appreciate all of this excess grime. Okay. All right, so I think, I think we're gonna have gotten all that we were gonna get out of it. 
on that first pass. I mean, this is better than it was. So we're just gonna go ahead and call it good on that edge of the door. Um, I'm gonna go around to the rest of the door jams and start cleaning up with this. Hey, what's up guys? Luckily, since I'm wearing this lavalier mic, I can talk through a window to you without being, uh, without having my sound being compromised. But anyways, one of the last things in a detailing process and also on the master guide for ammo is glass cleaning. So obey the glass and E screen cleaner. I mean, you can use this on glass, which is what we're gonna be testing it out on today, as well as navigation screens or the, the newer gauge cluster screens. But anyways, this one's pretty easy. It's supposed to be uh, no drip, no streak. Uh, glass cleaner. So we're going to see how well this does because this is a pretty, pretty filthy piece of glass if you, if you ask me. So you just kind of come in. It lied. There's one drip, but the rest of it is not drippy. So that is pretty cool. And so we'll go ahead and start down here. That got every last bit from the inside. What we'll do is we'll just go ahead, close this thing up, and then we'll do the same thing with this one. And boom, that's a clean piece of glass. All right, so my initial impression of Obey is great. Hey, so I'm not too sure what happened in this clip. For some reason, the audio didn't make it make it through. Uh, but anyways, essentially what I'm saying is that this is the end of the ammo detailing series. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed every single product that I got to use from them. And I cannot wait until I get to test the rest of their, their products out. But that's gonna take care of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Okay, bye.